Sony just dropped an exciting new lens. It's a Sony G16-35 f4 zoom lens welcome to another awesome video i'm offense moise this is scrooge reviews i hope you guys enjoyed that little piece of filming that we did there with this new sony 16 to 35 f4 zoom lens the guy that i shot i really enjoyed working with him his name is ish a really cool guy that man loves cars he has a whole range of beautiful stuff there in his garage that I wish I could have for myself. Working with the lens, guys, this lens was really cool. Uh, it's beautiful. I think it's a really fantastic, beautiful, gorgeous little lens. The first thing that I heard about this lens is that it's the size of a 24mm f1.4. I couldn't believe it. Cause look at this it's a zoom we all know that zoom has a lot of moving parts on the inside of the lens because not only are you moving the focus you're also moving the zoom elements it's got aperture rings there on the lens itself as well as the zoom one and the focus one all three rings are on this lens which is really fantastic for me and then there's another extra one which is a servo zoom this one is really cool, it's the unique feature on this lens. So I feel like that one is really cool as well to use because you can set the speed of this. So that will allow you to do nice Hitchcock zooms if you want. Another awesome feature is that this lens, when you zoom in and zoom out, it doesn't protrude. So it'll feel just like a prime lens. Yeah, the fact that the lens can go all the way up to 16, which is like super wide on the Sony because it's a full frame camera and then go all the way up to 35. It just makes it such a great lens to have. I think the only disadvantage that I had using the lens was probably the, the edges of my frame because I was using uh, two filters on my lens. So at 16, the lens is so wide that you can actually see some vignetting from your filters. But I think this is only happening because I had two filters on my lens. So I think that's a problem that you can sort out maybe with using a, maybe a matte box or using a filter alone. You'll notice that those rings disappear. And then they only were there because I was doubling up. I used a Corel Pro Mist filter on the lens as well as a variable ND. So yeah, I think that's what made it protrude out so that you can see it on the other. But other than that, the lens was pretty much fantastic. On set, it was really easy to use this lens because I could just punch it onto the size that I want. I used all ranges. I used all the way down to 16. I used all the way up to 35. I used your 20s and 25. So it depended on what I'm actually filming. My final thoughts on the lens, I really feel like it's a great lens that anyone can use. And uh, the fact that it's so light, it makes it perfect for a lot of situations. So I, be, I believe that you guys will be enjoying to use this lens. So if you have an opportunity, guys, grab this lens, test it out, and see if you can like it or if you do like it but me i'm a landscape type of guy i love wide shots so this is a perfect lens to be in my backpack and yeah it's a really awesome lens thank you guys for watching i hope you really enjoyed this my name is ofenso moise hit me up everywhere you can online uh, whether you want to chat to me or follow my work uh, that's the handle right there see you guys on the next video thank you for watching peace out <laughs> Oh, no, no, no.